welcome back to Cindy's Library. I am Cindy, and today I want to talk about Belinda by Mariah Edgeworth. So apparently this is was one of Jane Austen's favorite novels, and I can see why. It is very delightful. It features our heroine Belinda. She I think she's an orphan. She must be an orphan, which is why her aunt is taking such an interest in her. An aunt notorious for marrying off her nieces well. Uh, well, what she considers to be well, at least. And Belinda is the last niece, and so she's determined to do the same with Belinda. Towards that end, during the season, uh, she manages to get Belinda an invite to be with Lady Delacour, most popular lady in society, pretty much. And so, uh, Belinda, she notices a few things after not too much time how unhappy Lady Delacour actually is. Oh, she puts on a wonderful front in public, but in private, uh, it exhausts her to be uh, the perfect person in public all the time. She is, and her husband are not happy in their marriage, uh, not happy with each other. And... Well, she has other reasons to be unhappy as well. Some of what she's going through, she did put on herself. It is true enough, but not all of it. Not all of it by any means. And so as Belinda starts thinking about, well, what do I want in a marriage? Uh, she decides that Money, rank, approval of society are not necessarily the most important things. She wants to marry someone she will be happy with. Uh, Belinda is almost too perfect of a heroine. Uh, innocent and yet wise beyond her years. Um, she has great understanding, sees through society, things like that. In fact, it causes problems, well, starts to cause problems not too far into the book when Lady Delacour thinks, well, surely not no one can be uh, this nice and good and innocent and everything. And, of course, there are several uh, young men that Belinda meets who potentially, you know, could be a future marriage partner. She has to navigate that. And her favorite one, he has his own issues. Um, as Belinda starts getting her own ideas about marriage, uh, she starts disagreeing with her aunt, which causes some problems there as well. So, yeah. And, well, Belinda may not be the most exciting of heroines. Lady de Cure. She is quite unique. Um, we get to see her both in public, which is a bit more cliche, but then we see behind the scenes and see how much more there is going on. Uh, also unique um, in that Lady Delacour, she has a, a former friend. They had a falling out who is also quite unique, uh, not afraid to set 
society talking and forget about convention, do crazy things, the crazier the better. Oh, we also get um, so, some discussion of race and nationality as we have a queer character in this book. Uh, get the feeling that's a bit unusual for this time period. So overall though, I absolutely loved Belinda. I can see why Jane Austen loved it. And I'm so glad I did too. And if you are looking for a Regency book that is not Jane Austen, but kind of in the same vein, you could do a lot worse than read Belinda by Mariah Edgeworth. So those are my thoughts about Belinda. Have you read Belinda before? If so, I'd love to know what you thought about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Truly do appreciate it. So until next time, I hope we all stay safe and healthy. And as always, happy reading.